Okay, so my steamed pork buns, I've let them rise. And so now I'm getting ready to cook them. This is the first rack. Okay, because I don't want any condensation to drip down and ruin those. So they need to be covered. And then the first rack added on. And because of the condensation from that as well, I just take and flip this over like so. And then I add the top. It's not all the way in there. Okay. And that's like that. And this will go for about 20 minutes. Okay, the 20 minutes are up. Let's see what we have here. feeling soft all right first layer is off all right very good Okay, I wanted to do a quick demonstration um, of this device that I have. It's um, a fermentation for um, dough. And since it's getting colder in Texas, I don't really have any warm places to put this, seeing as how I wasn't going to turn my oven on to do this particular dish. So anyway, it does for dough time and then ferment time. And so it does in whatever increments that you needed to and then you just press the start button and it starts to rotate so like i said it will start to rotate um, i didn't want to continue to talk over that so it would do that until the dough time expires and then you can set the fermentation um, time and then some condensation will build because the bowl starts to heat um, and it doesn't overheat your product or anything like that until that time expires and I had this nice big fluffy ball of dough that was just perfect so um, another step that I want to do give me just a moment okay here I have my steamer that I used to make the buns in. And the lower part is where you put water. And then this other part here is where you're doing the steaming. I mean, you can put, you can't really put anything across the lower part. So in this particular part as well, you'll have a set of buns steaming. And what I did with that was I took some of my cloths because you can't allow any condensation to build up on the top where it'll fall down and wet the buns so after having that in there and then there's another small little um, plate this is the one that goes over but I have one that's um, smaller that actually fits down give me a moment okay so this is the smaller metal disc and so you put that down in there like so put on your parchment paper and then you arrange your dumplings or your buns and you can see why I previously had the five that was there then you'll take and put on your other one and of course your other paper set your buns on there but at this particular point also um, I ran into problems because water started dropping on the top so I actually had to take this um, off and be sure you poke a hole in the paper there and so what I did with this one was I had to get another cloth 
and put over. Then arrange this on top. And then actually I had to layer the cloth on top of the buns. And surprisingly enough, it didn't stick to the buns. And you guys will see that in the other video. And I was able, or the other part of the video, once I put all of this together. And so everything had to be arranged like so for the final 20 minutes of everything steaming. And then you get what, um, how it's going to turn out once you see the rest of the video. So I just wanted to go back and show that particular part. Um, I'll actually put a link for this particular steamer as well as the fermentation machine. I'll um, put it together on the separate link, but then I'll also let you guys know that I've added it to the kitchen staple list as well. Well, that's all I wanted to say, and I'll see you guys another time.